I'm, I'm Johnny Green. Um, I'm a little Louisiana boy that came out to California looking for the dream like everybody else. And I met Stephanos on a movie shoot. Uh, my first impression was that he was a big, strong, healthy, that's what you see. Um, and he was obsessed with finding somebody to work out with him that was as big and as strong as he was. He read seven, eight, nine hours every day, at least every day. There was a great intellect in his family, the talents, and Stephanos was great at drawing. He was, he could draw just and paint and do things that uh, he was just born with that gift, you know. I, you know, Stephanos had an energy and a drive and an intellect that you could not avoid. I have never, ever met anybody because there was nobody like him. This is the things that would happen to him. It, Stephanos had more street fights. Probably, been, I mean, that's where he really fought. It, it was street fights. I don't know why people would seek him out, because if you've ever looked at him, you would think that no person in their right mind would ever decide to mess with him for any reason whatsoever. He uh, started training with Rob Kamen. He started training with Hickson. He started doing all these training. So, whereas in the beginning, I'd play with him and we'd slap fight and we'd do things and I didn't have much fear of him and he seemed mortal to me. But after a while, I couldn't touch him. I, I could try all I wanted and I could never get close to putting a hand on him and he could kill me with, at any time. So he went from being, he became a greater fighter after 30 and 40 years old than he was. A, he was the oldest licensed fighter in the United States at one time. Well, let me see how it all started. Stefano started his movie career. He was living in North Carolina. He had, he had uh, opened up a bar. And when he was 20, 21 years old, right out of college. And so he's there, and they're having this, uh, this movie. They're looking for extras. Weekend at Bernie's. So they hire him for a day rate for one day. And Stefano shows up at Weekend at Bernie's, and they like him so much. And they, he never had a line, but they put him in a bunch of different shots. He worked there for six months on that movie. They had him every day. They did not want to be there without Stefano's being there every day. So Jean-Claude Van Damme shows up, and they're going to shoot a cyborg in North Carolina. So Stefano's goes out. They, they make him an extra right away. And as an extra working, didn't know Jean-Claude, didn't know any of these people, Stephanos in one scene with him running through the water. Now, Steph weighs about 265 at a time. He's just a massive brute of a man. And, and we're talking 6'2", 2, 265 at this point. And he's running through the water with Jean-Claude and the other guys, and they're coming to do something. And when they say pretend something, well, Stephanos pretends with all his force and his fury, and he's running. So, so even though he had a small part, he ends up the poster of the movie with him and John Claude and a few people behind him running, and that's the poster. So now he's got the poster billing for the movie Cyborg, and now has become somewhat friends with with uh, Jean-Claude and ended up doing five or six, or seven other films with Jean-Claude. And uh, some of those other films, the fight scenes in them probably are some of the best fight scenes that's ever been recorded in Hollywood. And they were as close to being real as almost any other fight in Hollywood could be. So in the early, but he just finished with another Jean-Claude film and one of the late night shows this is early. I mean, he, he doesn't have a lot of publicity. Nobody really knows Stephanos at this point yet. But in his mind, they're not going to know anything because I don't think it was Johnny Carson. I'm not sure if Johnny Carson, but one of the late night shows, big time shows, they wanted Stephanos to come on and promote the movie. 
No, I'm not going to do it. Well, what are you talking about, Steph? This is great publicity. People see you on, on the late night show. They're going to hire you for other jobs. That's the problem with these actors. These actors, they're not mysterious. He says, they tell everything. He says, I'm going to be mysterious. They're not going to know everything about me. And I'm thinking, well, that would be a good idea, Steph. If anybody knew who you were, that would be okay. But the trouble is, they don't know who you are yet. You're so mysterious, you're a secret. <laughs> but nothing I ever said to him ever got through, I promise you. He had his way of doing everything. He did not do the show because he was going to be mysterious. Uh, anyway, I love him. I still love him. When you're with someone as much as Stephanos and I were together, it's, uh, it's like being brothers, which means you don't always get along. I mean, you'll say things to a brother that you'll never say to anybody else. And I would say things to Stephanos that no man in his right mind would ever say to him because they know they could probably die. <laughs> he lived like a Spartan would. You know, I told you, da daily things meant nothing to him. It, he didn't have to do the daily little things that everybody else does to keep life in order because his existence was Spartan. If he had a bed, he'd just soon sleep on the floor. He didn't have to sleep in the bed. You know, it, it was just not a, a thing that he needed. But boy, was he, he was gifted in so many other areas. Just a very special person. And it's hard to believe that he's not here with that energy and that force. I mean, I didn't think anything could take him away from here. Stephanos, in one sentence, one of the most powerful body mind that I'd ever seen in combination in my entire life. One sentence. Nobody like him. I don't think a copy of him exists. Yeah, I have to say it's 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 the saddest day of my life. <laughs>